It is a beautiful day out here in rifle country. And today what I have in my hand is a custom rifle. This actually started as a bunch of separate pieces. It was assembled to become a death machine. This is a rifle that I call the Predator. Now, the heart of the rifle, right up top here, is a completed upper receiver. This completed upper receiver came from Midway USA, and it is chambered in 22 Nosler. That's right, the 22 Nosler cartridge. I have a lower receiver that I had on hand, and I put that together. Inside of it is a Timney trigger, and I've got my magazine right here. This is a 20 round magazine and I've got a 30 round spare. Now when you're shooting a 22 Nosler, you need to have 6.8 SPC magazines because the 22 Nosler cartridge is based upon the 6.8 SPC. You want to use a dedicated 6.8 magazine which you can get from Brownells or anywhere you want. Now what do I have on top? This optic right here is actually a fixed 10 power scope that I've had for quite a while. And over here on this side, I have a loopholed delta point red dot. Now, why would I have a fixed 10 power and a red dot? Well, I'll tell you why. And all of you guys who are experienced in the field and experienced hunters know that if something, a varmint, a creature, something that you're shooting pops up, 10, 20, 30 yards away from you, it's a lot easier to just throw the gun up in your shoulder, put the red down on and press the trigger than it is to try and find it in a magnified optic. Now, obviously, if you're gonna be shooting at varmints, and this is what this gun is. This is a varmint predator type gun. And this last summer, actually for an entire year, I've been using this gun to shoot prairie dogs, gophers, jackrabbits, badgers, uh, marmots, basically all of your varmint or pest species. This, is, does, this does an excellent job on pest species. You're probably all wondering what this pattern is. <laughs> this pattern is one that I did myself. Now, the design, the templates came from a company called Freedom Stencils, and the actual coating, the actual colors, came from Duracoat. That's right. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make this look like the Wyoming plains or the desert or whatever you want to call it in the summertime. So we've got mesquite, we've got a little bit of brown, we've got a little bit of tan right there uh, for that color. How does this gun shoot on paper? Shoots fantastic on paper. What's very interesting about this particular rifling and the Nosler ammunition comes in different bullet weights. You can get lightweight bullets down to 55, you can get heavyweight bullets in the 70 grain range, and then they have their Varmageddon, which is right here, which is a 62 grain bullet. And I sat down on the bench, and I put this on paper, and what I found was that this rifle likes the middle weight bullets. The 62 grain bullets, the Varmint bullets, work the best in this rifle. Now you may have a rifle that really likes the lightweight stuff or it might like the heavyweight stuff. But for this gun right here, I can shoot groups from the bench below an inch, three shots in three quarters of an inch, no problem all day long, every day. Uh, it's a fantastic rifle. Obviously it is a standard AR-15 size. Uh, so you can, you know, obviously feed it with standard 6.8 magazines and so forth. I've had a really fantastic time with this rifle this year, and I'm looking forward to shooting more varmints and predators next year. And this came from... I had hair in my mouth. Right. How did my beard look? Awesome. And...